In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take a graphic of your own and add it to a video where you track the movement of something across the screen. This tutorial comes as a result of some great feedback I've gotten from subscribers where I was tracking an object with an arrow image using keyframes. And they said, well, can't you combine that with a magic motion tool? And indeed you can. Let me show you how. All I need to do is highlight my video, and I've done that here on track number one, and then click on the Tools button above the timeline, click on the down arrow, select the Motion Tracker. Now with the Motion Tracker selected, it will give me a bounding box with uh, some corners, and I need to make this as small as possible to be as accurate as possible. And in this case, I'm going to track the man in the middle because the white shirt should be a nice contrast here. I'll make it even smaller than that. And that is going to be what we're going to attempt to track in this exercise. When I have it positioned the way I want, all I do is click on the track button and it will go, go ahead. And actually what it's doing is building a series of keyframes anchored to that particular item. And so that's not too bad. So what I want to do now is I want to add something. If I stopped here, when I play the video, I wouldn't see the white box. I would see nothing. But I need to attach something to that track. So what I or that series of keyframes, really. What I'm going to do is click on the add image at the bottom. I can insert a, a video. I can insert a still image. I can insert an effect. I'm going to click on Import Media Clip, and mine will happen to be from my media room. And in my media room, I have a simple down arrow, a PNG file. So I'll click on OK, and now I've imported it. Now, one of, I have several options. I can put a border on it. If I click here, it will, or take it off. I can adjust the effect size with the tracked object. So if the object gets closer to me, the size of the uh, the arrow in this case will change. I can also go up here and before I actually activate it, I can change its size, shape, rotation, uh, any way I want to, just like if, as if I was in the PIP designer. So I'll leave it about like that. And uh, so that gives me something to work with. So now I'll click on OK and I'm done. Now what did it do? Well, it actually added my down arrow. And if I click here in this track and double click or press F2 to get into the PIP designer, I see it, it gave me what I expect, but then it also uh, created this massive series uh, down here for both position and scale of keyframes all automatically. We'll cancel to get out of that. Now let's show you what it looks like when we play it. I'll click here, and it's doing a pretty decent job, at least for most of it. But now you notice, it, the closer I get, the more the arrow gets a little bit into his shoulder. And so I might want, might want to tweak that if I were to actually do that, because uh, I don't want it quite this location. But it does save a lot of work. Now you say, well, that's nice, but all I have error is an arrow. I want more. Well, all I have to do is click again, click on the, uh, the video, click on Tools, Motion Tracker. And now with the same tracker, I'm going to add a title. Let's say his name is Larry. We have a lesson on this as well. Uh, so now I have his name here. I can change the font size, font location, everything like that. And I will put it here. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, and then I'll click on OK. Since I have one tracker, it will follow that same tracker. I can go ahead and play the movie. And now I've used my imported graphic, and I've also added a name to that as well. And so that gives you a very uh, nice automated way in which you can use these tools when you have an object in motion you want to identify in one way or the other in CyberLink PowerDirector.